There are renewed hopes of a ceasefire in Gaza after Israel's Mossad spy agency says that Israel is studying Hamas' response to a proposal that would include a hostage release deal. A statement released by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office on behalf of Mossad says the mediators have given the negotiating team the hostage deal outline and Israel is examining it. Now, Ishmael Haniyeh, the Hamas leader based in Qatar, spoke with mediators in Qatar and Egypt regarding the ideas being discussed by the movement in order to reach an agreement to end the nine-month-old war. Hamas says the movement has engaged positively with the essence of the ongoing deliberations and it is eager to reach an agreement to stop the war. Mediators, including Egypt, Qatar and the United States, have been trying for months to secure a ceasefire and the release of 120 remaining hostages in Gaza, but their efforts, but their efforts have stalled. Now, as Gaza ceasefire effort shows signs of revival, Israel continues to pound the Gaza enclave. On the ground in Gaza, according to Palestinian health officials, at least 12 people were killed in Israeli strikes in central and northern Gaza. Residents claim that Israeli forces also carried out new strikes in the south amid fierce fighting with Palestinian militants overnight. Israel's military said Israel's military said a 21-year-old captain was killed in combat in northern Gaza, raising ground offensives toll to 323. Now, fighting persisted overnight in two locations in central Rafah, where tanks have seized several districts and advanced further west and north of the city in recent days. The Israeli military said its forces pursued targeted operations in Rafah, dismantled several military sites and killed Palestinian militants. An Israeli airstrike also destroyed a UN school in Khan Yunis in southern Gaza where displaced Palestinians sheltered. On Wednesday, a senior Hezbollah commander was killed in an Israeli airstrike in southern Lebanon. He was one of the highest ranking officials in the terror group to be killed in nine months of fighting along the border. Hezbollah responded by firing at least 100 rockets at northern Israel on Wednesday afternoon. Hezbollah confirmed the death of Mohammad Nima Nasir, also known as Abu Nima. A short video obtained by Reuters shows a car on fire, said to be that of Mohammad Nasir. In the video, a vehicle is seen engulfed in flames in a residential area. For more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Ranana. Take a look. The day after Hamas praised the terror attack at a mall in Israel, which killed one and injured another, Hamas has confirmed that it has exchanged some ideas with mediators to end the Hamas-Israel war. The offer comes after Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu said that Hamas's army is nearing defeat. Now, as well as a chance to end the fighting between Hamas and Israel, a hostage ceasefire deal is also being seen as key to ending the recent escalation between Hezbollah and Israel, as well as the attacks on shipping by the Houthis. Now, Israel is considering Hamas's counter-proposal, which is said to be far better than Hamas's terms last month. An official has suggested that Hamas's counter-offer could give room, potentially, to move towards a deal, but that gaps still remain, and it could take several weeks to close those gaps. This is Jody Cohen for We On World Is One.